UFC fighter Eve the Tiger Jab Wayne returned to the Bell Center on March 16th for UFC 158. Looking to bounce back from a vicious KO loss at the hands of Brad Pickett he suffered on September 29th last year. To me, failure is really when, when you fail and you stay down. You know, everybody fails, but as long as you're able to say, wow, you know, I, I failed, but that's not it. I'm not done, you know. Like, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again. That's what I want, you know. I'm not gonna deny it to you that every time I'm training that there's a monster inside that he remembers that, you know, he, it's, it's, it's subconscious because since I started this camp, I have, like, I have a fire inside, a fire that I used to have in the past that I think I lost over the years, you know, like growing up and getting, like, evolving, you know, getting more experience and becoming a little bit more as sage and, and more calm and more technical. I, I kind of lost the beast within, which is where the, 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 the name, the nickname, the tiger came from. I, I was really aggressive and, and everything. You never know how a guy's gonna act, he's, how he's gonna behave in the ring after a knockout. You know, uh, you just never know until they get back in the ring. But a guy like Eve, who has a lot of experience, and uh, he's been very successful striking. He's been performing very well in practice. I'm not worried. I think uh, his seasoning and his experience is going to help, uh, you know, make him fight like he always does. And uh, he's got that tiger inside him, of course. That's why we call him Tiger. And I think Tigers are not easily dominated. And uh, I really believe he's going to shine well and he's going to perform very well in his fight. The thing he lacked was an ability to pace himself. He didn't understand pacing at all. He didn't understand his body because he just went nuts. They just went crazy and um, he didn't try to recover at all during the round. He just went nuts. Full and it's very tough to do that. Uh, and you know, in his training, he's changed some things around, but uh, at the end of the day, I think he's just learned from it. I don't think you'll see any ill effects of, of anything that happened to Eve in the past. If anything, he'll be sharper because uh, you, you sort of are on your toes a bit more. And since I started this camp, I have that little feeling inside that I used to have, that fire inside. And I'm pretty sure that comes from the fact that for the first time in my career, over maybe, what, 10, 12 years of doing MMA, I've never been knocked out, never. You know, I've been stopped before, but it was TKO referee stoppage. But really to, to lose the one thing that I think is the most precious to me, my consciousness, you know, like to, to, to lose few seconds of my life you know I open your eyes and you're like whoa I, I don't remember I don't remember a few seconds of my life like you know that, that that was hard you know I put that aside but there's a monster inside that doesn't he doesn't want he doesn't he's not having that and I feel I feel the rage every time I train I, every time every time I get hit in sparring I, I, I clench my teeth and I, I'm going forward this is the first time obviously uh, uh, Eve's been been rocked like that and um, I haven't seen any, any effects of it in sparring. Uh, he looks amazing. Uh, I think some people just, you know, they've been around so long that they just know it's part of the game. And, you know, sometimes the, the, the better person doesn't win the night of the fight, it's the guy who fights better. You know, Eve's a great fighter. Uh, he's, he's learned, it's, it's, a, it's a thing where you're having a guy who's mature now. So you've got a guy over 32, 33. Uh, when maturity kicks in, you learn your body, so now, you train differently because you know you've made some mistakes in the past. You want to change some things around. So he's at an age now where he can really um, sort of do what he thinks is, is right. And he has uh, me, he has Faraz, he has people around that he could, you know, ask for advice. And I, and I think, honestly, he knows his body. I think, honestly, he's been in a situation where uh, he knows how to bounce back. And I don't think he'll be shell shock at all. Actually, I think he'll be, you know, even more aggressive because he knows what the tools are that got him to being successful. I don't want to be ordinary. I don't want to be everybody. I, I want to be... 
I want to be I want to be one of those guys that that people look look up to and say, wow, like you know, not necessarily like he's the best, but like wow, he's got something that not everybody has. It was it was a really interesting experience today. Um, it was my first time getting to work with the uh, Tiger Muay Thai guys. You know, I, I've, I've, I've watched them from the sidelines. I've they trained George and, and, and other guys in the gym and never really, really went under the, the, their greatness, let's just say. And today, going with those Tiger Muay Thai guys, I, you know, I've, I'm known to, to be like a great striker and everything, but I felt something today that these, these guys are, are light years ahead of me. And I kind of got pissed off at myself. And I'm like, wow, you're not even close to, to the level of these guys. And I think that's a new goal right there. Like it just fueled me. And I was, it, I was enraged at a point and, and I just, <laughs> I don't know. I felt the monster within me come, want, wanting to come out and just devastate everything. And just, and, 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 it, and, and there again, it's that struggle to control it. Not everybody, not everybody know that side of me. I'm really calm and, and composed guy, and I, I think I've achieved that over uh, over the years of my life. You know, I really work hard trying to, to, to control that monster, and uh, now I'm uh, the more like after the picket fight, I realized that I need that monster, and it's a matter of of bringing balance to to the rage and and the technique and the control. As for Eve, you know, Eve has had a lot of success in the Octagon and I think he really enjoys the experience of winning and performing and, and I think he just loves to compete. He's a real competitor, he loves to win, he loves to get his hand raised. I think that's where he finds his motivation and like, I think you're going to see him get his hand raised again in Montreal. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that, I'm, I'm all, my entire life I've been fueled by people's doubts towards me or even my own doubts towards goals that I might not think that I'd be able to achieve or or that people think that he's unachievable. I'm fueled by that. Like I remember uh, when I was in, in, in high school, I, I used to be a little bit of a bum in high school and uh, one teacher told me that I'll never be nothing in life. And oh my God, like he, he couldn't have said anything better to me as a person because since that day, it, it's my goal to, to achieving like to, to, to achieving unachievable goals in life and to really become somebody, be, become, to, to, to really, not, not necessarily that, that I, I have grudge against him, but really, like he made me think, you know, he made me think that, wow, you know, like I, I think my, one of my worst fear is to be ordinary. Uh, you know, Eve's got a beautiful family, he's got a wife and kids, they're very close. Eve has a heavy hand in raising his kids, you know, uh, me myself, I'm just a training and I don't change diapers, I don't babysit too much, you know, I'm always busy, I'm always at work, uh, around the clock. But Eve is not like that, Eve is like really hands-on, you know, he wakes the kids up, he does make some breakfast, uh, you know, he changes diapers. I call him to practice, like, oh, I got the kids, you know. You know, um, all this topic is really uh, getting me a little bit emotional. I'm a very emotional guy, I, I try not to, to put that out in front of people. You know, but any, any any time that it gets into family and the kids and everything, yeah, kind of gets me a little bit emotional because I, I think that that's a very big uh, motivation to me. You know, I have uh, I have two boys and a girl, and uh, like everything I do since since their birth is really um, is really for them. You know, and. Uh, And I think, and and I think I really when I when I give it my all and everything I do, especially um, in the cage, you know, and in, in the fight game, it's really to uh, I, I'm trying to to leave an, an an heritage to them, you know, not not necessarily for them to become fighters, but for them to learn from from the strength. That I that I demonstrate, you know, from from working hard. Like these are values that I really want my kids to to inherit from from me. Like hard work, respect, um, breaking breaking grounds, um, really like to, to achieve unachievable goals, to, to have character, to have personality. So I don't allow myself 
you know, thinking of my kids. I never allowed myself to, 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 to let failure break me down. Eve is an unbelievable athlete, but he, then he told, tells us that he used to be a running back. But those tools, being a running back, whenever you train a, an athlete from a, another sport or a dual sport athlete, they possess whatever that position was. So a lot of the running backs or the receivers um, are very explosive. So Eve, obviously you said, made his, has made his living off being explosive. Well, in the gym from the first day I trained him, was ultra explosive, uh, very um, fast switch. So you saw a perfect example today as he's jumping with another one of my fast switch guys and explosive guys in Nordin Taleb. Um, what you saw him doing, even though some of them, they made it look easy, uh, I can't give that to 99% of the, the, the people in the gym because it's, it's very challenging. Uh, it involves a lot of skill. Um, it involves a lot of a lot of elasticity. And um, Eve, even if he loses a step, he's going to be 10 steps faster than anybody else. So Eve is very explosive. I don't have to worry about him uh, losing explosive. If Eve had, let's say, the muscle fiber of a Mark Bocek, uh, or someone who's a bit slower twitch, like a Kenny Florin or a Mark Bolchek, I would be a bit more nervous because uh, he's the type of fighter that has made his living off of being who he is and he doesn't have the tools that they have. So, um, and they don't have the tools that he has. So being fast twitch explosive, um, I don't think he's ever gonna get into a fight where he's on the short end of that matchup. You know, uh, it's two guys who, who like to exchange standing and uh, Eve's Eve, I think, is quicker, Eduardo's longer, but Eve is quicker, more experienced, and more technical. I think Eve is the best striker in the division. I think he has that edge, and uh, his wrestling over the years has you know, gotten 100% better. So uh, he's extremely hard to take down, and uh, he's, a, he's a huge package to deal with. You know, The takedown and the strikes that he brings to the table are a very difficult thing to deal with. I think uh, he's going to have the edge standing, and when Eduardo tries to take him down, he's going to see that it's extremely hard to do. When I when I get in the cage, my my uh, my, my natural instinct is to strike, is to is to pound, it's it's to, you know it's it's to it's to strike. So not everybody has seen, I've had a chance to to see me roll on the ground, and everything, and and I have you know I'm I'm rolling with Ryan Hall, you know um, Ivan Menchivar, these guys that are that are that are way better um, grapplers than. Than Eduardo, not not to disrespect any, or anything, so it wasn't even a concern. And you know, for sure, everybody uh, there's millions of people around the world, and for sure, everybody has their their all their doubts about this and about that fighter. But I'm um, I'm so well prepared here at TriStar with under uh, under uh, Raz Zahabi that it's not even a concern to me. You know, I go in the fight to destroy, to kill, and and that's basically it. My preparation gives me gives me that uh, that confidence of wherever the fight brings me I'm, I'm ready to take it to me failure is really when when you fail and you stay down you know everybody fails but as long as you're able to say wow you know I, I failed but that's not it I'm not done you know like I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again that's what I want